Another question we got here at Healthy Kidney Inc. is, are beans good for kidney disease? And this is Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, and kidney disease sufferer. Still have my AV fistula when I was on dialysis. And this question, another debatable question, and we used to believe that beans were just bad for kidney disease. You didn't want to have any beans, okay, because they were high phosphorus, higher in potassium, so you wanted to avoid them. However, in the last 10, 15, 20 years even, the amount of research coming out that's showing beans are okay with kidney disease. As long as you don't have elevated phosphorus or elevated potassium that you might want to restrict those foods for, but if you don't have those, beans have shown beneficial. Okay, a couple reasons why. Uh, beans, they used to believe, well, they are high, pota uh, high phosphorus, and it was believed that you would absorb that phosphorus, but what we found out was that vegetarian sources of phosphorus like beans doesn't absorb well so you don't have to worry too much about phosphorus like we used to think and now potassium used to worry about potassium a lot and recent studies and a lot of studies show that I talk about in the um, our channel here is that a little higher potassium levels are okay and even a little bit protective as long as you're not out of range but the thing is when you eat something like beans you the potassium gets a little bit offset by other properties that are within the beans so that's a good thing because you don't have to, it doesn't absorb so well and that just makes it so much easier on your body and your kidneys so beans are more of an acceptable food now for kidney disease now which beans okay so i'm going to give you three beans that are very kidney friendly because some beans aren't as kidney friendly meaning they have higher amounts of phosphorus and potassium so some of these more kidney friendly beans are black beans okay pinto beans, garbanzo beans, also called chickpeas, and fava beans. Okay, that's four of them. Um, there are more, but that's just four that you can incorporate into your renal diet. So that's black beans, pinto beans, garbanzo beans, and fava beans. And you can um, cook those. You can mix them into all types of dishes, salads, mix them into any grains. But beans, if as long as you stick to those and other kidney-friendly ones, are typically okay in kidney disease as long as you don't have elevated phosphorus or potassium and you keep it like everything else in moderation and don't go crazy on the beans when I say crazy I mean don't have large large amounts of beans because you think they're good for you but having some in your diet is good it's kidney friendly and don't worry so much about that phosphorus and potassium uh, because as I mentioned phosphorus doesn't absorb as well from vegetarian sources and potassium does get offset by other components that are within the beans um, but still if your uh, levels are elevated avoid them or limit them okay and um, you could also look at some other natural phosphorus binders. I talk about uh, niacinamide. It helps block phosphorus naturally, so that's something you can incorporate if you do with the beans. Take a look at our channel, other YouTube videos. Thank you for watching, everybody, and do your best kidney health. Bye.